The schedules have been a little hectic lately, but we still had plenty of games to play. On Tuesday, the women's hockey team returned to the ice after a month off. They would face St. Scholastica for the second time this season. Scoreless after one period after both teams were solid defensively. The Jackets would get on the board on a shorthanded goal from senior Tessa Jordy. That would be all the Jackets would need to defeat the Saints 1-0. Mackenzie Whalen had 24 saves on the night for her second shutout of the season. The women's basketball team returned to UMAC play over the weekend. On Friday versus Crown, the Jackets got out to a slow start and the Storm offense was lights out. But the Yellow Jackets were able to erase a 13-point deficit to go into halftime down 45-48. Then in the second half, a three-pointer from McKenna Gooden would put the Jackets ahead as they cruised to an 81-72 victory. Gooden led the way with 16 points and Maddie Sanders had a double-double with 11 points and a career high of 18 rebounds. Then on Saturday versus Minnesota Morris, the Jackets played a good first half. They even took a 37-25 lead at the break. But in the second half, things did not go well for the Jackets as the Cougars clawed back. And although Kalen Christian would tie things up at 56, but that wouldn't be enough. The Cougars kept converting on the Jackets turnovers. Minnesota Morris takes this one 67-58. Christian had scored a career high 25 points, 7 of 10 from the three-point arc. Up next on Friday at Northwestern and Saturday at North Central. The men's hockey team hosted St. John's in a non-conference game. The Johnnies would get on the board in the first period. A goal from Dylan Johnson would tie things up in the second. Then in the third, Arthur Turchiev rifled the puck into the top corner for the first time the Jackets had the lead all game. But that was quickly erased by St. John's. And once again, we were headed in overtime. The Johnnies were quickly called on a penalty, giving the Jacket offense a four-on-three situation. Reed Stark would be the hero as the Jackets defeat St. John's 3-2 to two in overtime. Then on Saturday versus Gustavus Adolphus, the Jackets scored once at each period. Gavin Rasmussen would get things going in the first to give the Jackets the lead. Late in the second, Zach Bannister fired a wrist shot into the back of the net. The Jackets would add another goal early in the third period as Chad Lopez would poke it in. The Gusties scored one in the third, but the Jacket defense and Miles Hector defended the goal. The Jackets win 3-1. to one. Up next, the team hosts UW-Eau Claire on Friday and Saturday. On Friday, the men's and women's track and field teams competed at Minnesota State Invitational. Starting with the men's team, they finished fourth overall. Derek Moe was third in the 3,000-meter event, and Ian Matheson was third in the 400-meter event. The women's team finished sixth overall. Junior Kasha Hewlett finished eighth in the weight throw and tenth in the shot put event. Both teams not only competed with Division III teams, but also Division II schools. Up next, both teams host the Twin Ports Open at the Lydia Thering Fieldhouse on Saturday.